I'm Eric Wang. I'm the Vice President of AI at Turnitin. And I want to talk about the last 12 months and change. Change being the operative word, because I think it's the understatement of the century to say 2023 had some change in it. It was also the year where Turnitin released our AI writing indicator. In the 12 months since it's gone out, We've learned a lot, and I'm here to share some of those learnings with you. But before we do that, a little bit of history. So on November 30th, 2022, things got weird. The internet started talking to us. Now, for AI researchers and a bunch of engineers, it wasn't that much of a surprise, but for most people, it was the first time they'd ever experienced the magic of generative AI. It made us rethink human AI interaction. Immediately at Turnitin, we recognized the opportunity and the challenges that generative AI would create for teachers in the classroom. And we pivoted very quickly to helping identify how do we help teachers wrap their arms around this problem? How do we help them lower the temperature in the room so that they can kind of get their feet under them and recognize how to make, uh, how to make progress? We identified Gen AI transparency as the first thing to dig into. And on April 4th, 2023, building on months of intensive development work, and years of AI research, our AI writing indicator went public in preview mode for all customers. But the world was running away from us in 2023. And we immediately partnered with our friends over at AWS. Our AI and engineering teams went into overdrive and we built AI and LMs into every part of our AI production pipeline everything from data curation, processing, model training, evaluation, deployment, post-deployment monitoring, now has huge swaths of automation and orchestration handled by LLMs. This allowed us to start building models bigger, faster, better, to evaluate them more thoroughly, and to better understand how they're working in the real world. Building on all of those learnings, numerous conversations with customers, and countless lessons learned. In December 23, our second generation AI writing indicator models went into production. These models went out just in time for the AI writing indicator to go GA, which means it's fully built into all of our products, including Turnitin, Feedback Studio, Originality, and Ithenicate. So let's talk a little bit about the numbers. When you talk about numbers with Turnitin, you have to talk about scale, because we are the world's largest academic integrity company. To date, the AI writing indicator has processed 200 million documents. And in those more than 200 million documents, we've learned a lot about how students write with AI. 11% of those 200 million documents, 22 million, show some AI writing. 3%, 6 million of those documents are mostly AI created. What does this tell us? Well, to me, what it says is that generative AI is not going away. It's a permanent part of how we create, how we write. It's a vital skill for the future. And we need to be thoughtful on the tools that we build and how we build them in order to help teachers navigate this complex set of decisions and challenges in a world defined by AI. Part of that thoughtfulness of building the right tools is thinking about safety. And it's top of mind for us at Turnitin. When a model is getting ready for production, it goes through a battery of tests before it's ever allowed to see any student data. I wanna talk about two of those tests. The first one, is a very large pre-GPT human data set to test for false positives. This is something that Turnitin can do due to our scale. 
And this is a test that runs for every single model we build in the AI writing indicator family. We use this test to ensure that our models have significantly less than a 1% false positive rate. Otherwise, the model doesn't see production. Another test that we do is about measuring bias or potential bias against English language learners. Now, in 2023, there were necessary and important conversations on AI writing indicator bias against these populations. So building on work that was done, we did an even larger study on large public data sets. And we measured no bias against English language learners on these large data sets. This supports the work that we've done. Our model is actually built to oversample underrepresented groups. And we did this right from the start because we recognize the need to mitigate bias as a core part of how our models are built. We've detailed our methodology and our data in a blog post in hopes that other people will take the learnings that we've uh, uncovered and build upon them. Part of the reason why our AI writing indicator works as well as it does is because of its history, and the other part is because of its technology. As I've said, we've been working on AI writing indicators since 2020. When OpenAI first announced GPT-3, we recognized this was world-changing technology. Our AI writing indicator is built on the latest transformer architectures. It's the same exact architecture that underpins all of the cutting edge LLMs that we use today. And we also haven't sat still. Since the model's been released, there have been six major system updates, each one improving effectiveness, improving safety, and improving the confidence that teachers have in using this tool to make complex decisions to facilitate learning moments in the classroom. Our work hasn't gone unnoticed. I feel extremely honored to have been awarded Best in Show by ISTE 2023, Best of 2023 in Tech and Learning Magazine. We're a finalist at BETS 2024 AI and Education category. And last but not least, thank you to GSV for including Turnitin in the GSV 150 list of the most innovative and impactful ed tech companies. But we're not done. In fact, we're just getting started. What does the future hold? As we have conversations about the future, most educators are telling us that they believe AI technology fluency is a critical skill for students of the future. We also recognize that AI writing identifiers and indicators are just part of a much larger puzzle, much larger tapestry, how we need to think about AI in the classroom. Educators want AI writing indicators, but not because they're trying to stop Gen AI use. They want it so that they can understand when the AI was used. Was it used thoughtfully? Was it used ethically? Did students use it to augment and improve their writing? Or did they use it to cut corners? Was critical thinking demonstrated in this document, in this work? These are the questions that educators want. To help facilitate that, the next thing that we're working on are building proof of process tools. These tools capture things like copy-paste actions in text, analytics spent on time drafting, typing patterns, draft history, version history, so much more. That's just getting started. All of this with the goal of giving teachers confidence and insight without increasing the burden on them, and giving students comfort and confidence in knowing that their work, the provenance, the process that they went through, the struggles that they went through, are seen and recognized by the educator that they're not being distilled down to a single score. Here's the thing. These things aren't just a bullet point on our roadmap. They're real. And since it's just us friends here, I feel like I can share something with you. So on the left is the student writing experience. It's clean. It's simple. It's everything a student needs to do, needs to have to produce high quality work. On the right is the compositions 
uh, composition insight space for educators. At a glance, educators will be able to understand the provenance and process that a student went through to create this work. We believe that this tool is the right place for students to step up onto a stage and prove to the world their greatness. We believe that teachers will be able to grade and give feedback with more confidence, with more awareness of how the work was created. And we believe this is a critical part of the future of writing. So I want to end with probably the most important lesson that I've learned in 2023. A world defined by AI is a world of uncertainty. We used to live in a world that was fairly cut and dry, and that world doesn't exist anymore. Uncertainty is hard, it's uncomfortable, and making decisions under uncertainty is doubly hard. The most powerful thing ed tech companies can do in an AI-centric world is to build experiences that help students and educators make informed and thoughtful decisions under uncertainty. This is the thing that we've done at Turnitin for over 25 years. Suffice it to say, the next 25 years is gonna look a little bit different, but our commitment to integrity, to transparency, to visibility, to creating those learning moments, those moments of connection between a student and an educator is unwavering. I'm really excited about continuing this journey that we've all started together. I hope we get to chat again soon, and until then, thank you so much for your time.